In this problem, we are asked to graph g of x equals cosine of negative x on the interval 0 to 2 pi, then use that graph to determine the intervals in which it is increasing and decreasing, as well as the critical points. So let's set up a graph, or coordinate axes rather. x, we know we're going from 0 to 2 pi. And since this is a trigon trigonometric function, we're probably also going to be interested in what happens at pi. So, the easiest way to go about doing this is just start plugging in some values and see what we get. So we'll start with 0. Cosine of negative 0 is the same as cosine of 0, which is just 1. And then the same will be true of 2 pi. Cosine of negative 2 pi is the same as cosine of 2 pi, which is just 1. And the cosine of negative pi is negative 1. Let's plug in a few more points to try to get a little bit more information about this. We'll do 3 halves pi and 1 half pi. So if we plug in 1 half pi, so we get cosine of negative 1 half pi. Well, that's just 0. And the same will be true if we plug in 3 halves pi. Both of these are equal to 0. And since we know this is a trigonometric function, it's not terribly difficult to sort of fill in the rest of the curve based on instinct. Wonderful. Okay, so on which subintervals is g of x increasing or decreasing? Well, we'll start with increasing. And looking at the graph, you can see that from pi. 2 pi looks like it's increasing. So from pi to 2 pi, it's increasing. When is it decreasing? Well, that's everything else. You can see from 0 to pi, always decreasing. Easy enough. And what are the critical points? Well, the critical points, by our standard definition, is any time the derivative is equal to zero. But when we're just looking at the graph, there are a couple different ways you can think about it. One is any time you have a point that fits in both an increasing and a decreasing interval. Another way is any time you have a tangent line that is horizontal, or appears to be horizontal, it's a good indication that the derivative is going to be zero there. Or it's the only indication, derivative of zero. So it's clear from this that we have three different critical points. One here, one here, and one here. So our critical points are at x equals zero, x equals pi, and x equals two pi. Good stuff. And that's the end of the problem.